Hey, hi! Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back here with you again today showing off another new game new to the channel. Very exciting, isn't it? Folks, this is a game called Cast Out Colony and we are playing as a rad beetle-looking dude named Tato. And we've got a stick that's good for beating the hell out of other bugs. And I'll tell you what, we're angry. We're, well, we're not angry, but, but we're a little bit uh, we're, we're frustrated because we're in the process of, of building up a new home. And you know why? because we committed tax evasion. Problem is we got caught by the the head large bug. And he said, "Hey, you got to get out." Right? And so we're, you know, we're out there looking around. We got our we got our bindle, right? Isn't that what they call it? You know, a little little bag that uh, they carry on the back with the stick attached, right? Ah, we're out there walking around with our bindle. And, uh, you know, trying to figure out life and, and it happened upon this, uh, well, this area that looks kind of nice. And there was another bug there and he said, hey, why don't we, why don't we get together and we'll build a brand new community and we'll call it Cast Out Community. How about that, right? And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what they did. And so we are out here enjoying a bullet heaven type format, winning all types of resources in this part of the game, and then taking them back and going through a building phase in order to open up various types of meta progression. And I'll tell you what, it's fun. It's fun, I like it. It's got some nice charm to it. And look, it's a bug that committed tax evasion. That's cool. I like that too. So this is called Cast Out Colony. And this is going to be coming out in early access come April 8th. That's right around the corner. So that's exciting. The other thing that's exciting is that the video you are watching right now, this one, it's rated G. Some of you are like, I've already thought this goat is a lunatic so far. What is he talking about now? This video is rated G for giveaway. Yes, folks, that's correct. We're going to be giving away a few copies of Cast Out Colony when the release date comes. And all you need to do to get in on this is to be subscribed and leave a comment. That's it. Leave a comment of any kind. Tell us about the time that you were kicked out of your home for tax evasion. Or, or don't. Or don't. Maybe, uh, you know, the, the wrong kind of people might, uh, you know, read that. And then, and then you've got legal problems and ah, the goat can't help with that. So maybe don't tell us about that. Uh, maybe tell us about the kind of coffee you're drinking, or the tea you're drinking, or the game you're playing right now, or what kind of character I should roll in Diablo 4, because I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, tell us whatever you would like, but tell us something and be subscribed. And I'm going to pick a few of you across all the different videos that I'm going to do on this game, and uh, you're going to win a copy. We love doing giveaways on the channel. We have a goal in 2024 to give away 200 video games, and we can do that because of all of you and your support. So, thank you. Uh, we're going to have a really nice time today beating the bejesus out of bugs and bug-eating plants. You know about those bug-eating plants, right? Um, and then we're going to come back and, uh, we're going to build up our home. Our new home, the Cast Out Colony, the coolest place to hang out. 
Folks, I just got back from a trip that we took. Uh, every year we, we typically give uh, some kind of a trip or an experience to uh, my folks and my in-laws uh, to come do with us in the following year. We, we give it to them for Christmas. So this year uh, we rented a VRBO, one of, the, one of those Verbos. Probably heard of that, right? Um, Tato has a superpower as well, but it's it's only 40% charged. So if we get a chance to show that off, we'll do that too. Closing in on wave six. So we rented a place that uh, has an indoor pool and a hot tub right next to it. So you got a gigantic pool. And the house is, I mean, it might as well be right in the middle of a forest, basically. So the sights are, are glorious. And this pool is just surrounded by windows. You know, glorious bay windows. So you can see into it really well. Passes through one more enemy. I mean, that would be, that would be great. We're just doing all the spitting today. Um... So we just swam. You know, I don't do cold water. I've, uh, it turns out, I've, I've aged out of cold water. I didn't know that was the thing that happened, but, but it is. Cheers to you, by the way, taking a sip of coffee here. Hmm. Goodness gracious. So the nice thing about this pool is that this water, and I'm not even kidding you, this water is probably... Oh, God. 86, 87 degrees would be my guess. You know? Like warm bath water. Now, eventually, your body gets used to it. And the water does cool off a little bit. But when you first get in, it's like a mild, mild warm bath. And, uh, oh, God. It's just really, really great. You know? So we spent a few days uh, basically in the pool. Down the hall from a pool was a sauna. Well, let's come in here and see if we can grab a bunch of these. Reduced damage taken by 5%. Dash cooldown reduced. That's probably going to become more and more important as we go, I would think. Let's see if we can get something good out of there. Okay. But now, here's here's really... I mean, look. The pool's great and everything, okay? The pool's great. Hot tub's great. The sauna was great. But you know what was even better was the food that we brought with and, and prepared. Um, I brought several pounds of skirt steak. Now, if you've hung out here before, you've heard of... Uh, heard about my love for, for skirt steak. Um, skirt steak is a way of life for me. Yeah, if, if I have my choice between any cut of steak, I'm going skirt. Ribeye could be an option. Filet could be an option. I'm choosing skirt. It is the beefiest of the beefs. And I, I just don't think you can beat the taste. I like a little bit of chew. To a steak, you know, and it, he, look, you just can't go wrong with it. One additional projectile and the cooldown is reduced. I, oh man, but this would be good too. Cooldown reduced. I mean, this is an important one. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Ooh. All right, we are cruising through wave nine here. So not only did we have skirt steak, uh, we actually marinated it in some oil and taco seasoning and we cut it up real nice and we did fajitas and we cooked up some peppers and onions and oh my goodness it was just it was incredible the fajitas were over the top You've heard me talk about pork as well. Uh, I, pork is just a glorious... Th that might be a boss. 
That might actually be a boss that just hit the scene. Boy, if we could take him out, that would be fantastic. We might get something special, or it might just end the level. I'm not sure here. So we've gotten through almost 10 waves. All right, let's go over here. Ooh, base damage up by 10. I mean, that's quite... Oh, look at this. This pops off a lot more often, I think. Let's go with this. The stick is pretty important. It's, it's the primary thing, right? All right. Uh, we almost have our special. I'm really hoping that I can fire this off to, to show it to you all. Takes a while for it to charge up, but I think that's something that, you know, eventually we can tune up a little bit via the meta progression. Um, hey. I think we took out... Well, we took out somebody that dropped the chest. All right, we're going to... Get a couple more percent, and then we're going to fire... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right, I am heading for the chest. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Ooh, that's great. Okay. Hey, we got the thing. Here we go. Oh, that spider's got a lot of health. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Don't worry, I'm gonna get back to the pork tuck. Don't worry. Okay, so we found a new skill, Concussive Blast. We got something else, something called Scurry. Hind legs, looks like maybe some speediness. Fungi, Acorn. I've always wanted the Acorn skill. All right, so we've got we've got some interesting looking things. We, we got a well now, okay, all right. Got some flower coins. That's exciting. Actually got a lot of flower coins. All right. We're going to go back to the colony. Now we're going to get into the building phase. Now, I'm not going to buy any dudes just yet here. Actually, looks like I, I couldn't afford too many dudes. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. And we're going we're gonna to start beating on rocks. Okay? It's all going to make sense very soon. Because then we're going to go to our... Our, our little uh, tool area, and we're gonna do some we're gonna do some building. We should have an opportunity to do some building, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we can beat the hell out of these rocks. We can pull the prairie grass out of here. We can uh, rip some shrubbery out, right? And uh, this is all so that we can open up some additional space. For some buildings that are going to make us big and strong. We're going to be a very powerful bug guy named Tato. Or Tato, if you prefer. So, my brother-in-law was with us, and you know when we get together, food miracles happen in, in the best way. And so, he brought a pork butt which is funny because I also brought pork butt. Uh, we were there for, you know, a, a few days. So I smoked and pulled pork, uh, you know, for sandwiches. And we did burgers one night. A little bit of pork fell on top of a burger. It was the, one of the greatest tragedies ever, uh, as you can imagine. All right, I'm going to pull these and then we're going to figure out what we want to build here. Uh, but my brother-in-law actually brought the pork butt to do porchetta which is a deboned pork butt that you kind of unravel and make it flat and then you lather it with oil and herbs you got parsley sage rosemary i'm not going to finish the song but you know what i'm saying Okay, so we got some structures that are already happening here. Um, it doesn't look like we have any new structures that I can put down. Um, let's see. Special. No specials. No interactables yet. We do have paths. Oh, here we go. 
place this around your colony for enrichment. Okay, I I would like I would like some enrichment. Uh, let's go a little bit further out. And it looks like this bar is heading up here, so that's that's interesting. Um, looks like we've got some stuff in the way, but I'll put them where I can. All right. Uh, and then I'm thinking, well, probably not going to want to go. All right, looks like we've got to clear a little bit more stuff out. Let's go back over here. Just do some clearing. A little bit more clearing. So you throw this thing in the oven for, you know, a good three and a half, four hours at, uh, I think he did 350, something like that, you know? And this thing just comes out so tender, but it's got a crust around it, you know? Almost like a chicharron in a way. It's extremely flavorable. Flavorable. Flavorful. Let's let's go with that. Um, all right, so let's go more torches. See, we're gonna we're gonna just wrap around. Okay, something happened there. Not sure what happened. We're gonna just kind of decorate with some torch action. Okay, wonderful. Uh, might as well put a well down too, right? Okay, we got a well over there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a well on this side, right? Okay, some fresh water out there. Uh, let's see, foliage. I mean, we, we just spent time getting rid of the foliage. So, these structures then allow you to do various things. Uh, this one just you know, gives you information on what some of these structures do and so on and so forth. And then you got other books if, if you're into reading, you know. Um, I do want to see if this well does anything. Can we interact with it? No. Okay. So it's just for leveling up the, the town function. I don't think there's anything else we can put out there for now. But you can see that these meters are, are going up towards something. All right, let's jump back in. And we might be able to pay to open up the next area. Yeah, let's do that. Unlock arena, yep. Okay, let's jump in, let's do it. Ready, ready. We should see some new capabilities out there this time. Look at me taking a sip of coffee. All right. Ooh, speed increased. Yes. You'll see that we have limited spaces for passives and attack options. So, you know, you have to be mindful of what you're taking along the way and such. You know, we always talk about how these Bullet Heaven games are very chill. You know, very easy to just settle on into. That's what I liked about Boar Blasters so much. Yeah, you know, it just feels like this is a busier time of year. You know, we talked about uh, last week how work was getting uh, busier. You know, and some of you chimed in and said, man, you know, things are busy for me too. Sometimes you just need a game like this. You can just pop on and uh, you don't have to think very much. You dodge the enemies, you point them out, you come back, you build some stuff up, you make some bugs happy, right? I don't like happy bugs. All right, we're going to go with this stick foo.
these big guys take quite a bit of damage to uh, take down, I gotta say. They follow you for a while. But the speed increase is a really nice addition. Uh, let's let's just go with a lot of bees this time. Just thinking of the Angry Bees Magic the Gathering card that I used to play with when I was uh, a much younger man. Played a lot of Magic at the house as well with my daughter. I got two of the Fallout Commander decks. Uh, the Wise Mothman and the dog meat deck, and both of them are just tremendously fun to play. Uh, and so we were going back and forth with those, just kind of putting them through the, the rhythms. Um, oh, we got all three of them? Oh, that's a hell of a chest, wow. That's amazing. Uh, you know what we need now is some health, holy moly. Okay, I think we're going to have to try the acorn. An acorn crushes a random enemy. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Sounds great. We're going to want to go grab that chest, especially since uh, we're finding some threefers. It's crazy. All right, we were able to get over there. Oh, good. That's a nice one. Beat the hell out of those birds, man. Alright. Nice to see the health. Yeah, you have to be on the lookout for the tiny trees throughout your run. Because those house the good stuff. Okay, here we go. Base damage up by 10, or we get another ability that's popping off. Just thinking it would be nice to have something else going while we have these additional weapon spots that are, are open. Rather have more skills firing off. And then I can worry about powering them up. I will say, though, I need to figure out a building that helps us get the special back a little bit sooner. It, it takes a while on that guy. Alright, coming up on... The end, well, I, I, I guess not the end. Beginning of wave six. Protective leaf orbits around the character. I have not tried this one yet, but I do like this. You know what? Let's try that. Let's, let's see what that's like. Okay. That looks pretty good actually, especially with how close these guys get. That one does make sense. It's like having another whacking stick. Oh, let's go grab that heart. Uh, oh, horizontal slash behind the character. That's cool. All right, so we got to come on both sides now. That's awesome.
definitely necessary with how fast these birds are coming at us. Okay. Um. Oh, so that's what Scurry does. I think I'm gonna go with speed increase, actually. Tato's cool, but he's he's a little slow. I do think Scurry would be good, but I, I wanted the speed a little bit more. Uh, let's go with base damage, especially now that we're going both sides. Oh, boy. Porchetta was amazing. Uh, we were swimming and my brother-in-law was tending to the porchetta and basting it every 30 minutes while it cooked. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with the base damage on the poison spit. I feel like these bugs are getting very powerful. We've got to keep up. You actually prop up the porchetta with potatoes. And so this pork grease drips on the potatoes throughout the entire cook. And you can imagine, you can imagine what you end up with. But we got the, uh, got the superpower. Hey, new blueprint carpenter. Gym. Okay. Acid spray, firecracker. That that all sounds like good stuff. Let's see if we can build any of this. The carpenter. That sounds interesting. All right, I'm gonna go with this dude again. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, we got we got some new options. This is great. Wait, 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 what did that say? Spend flower coins to purchase decor, traps, and paths, plus five percent armor when built. Or we got the gym plus five percent damage when built. Okay. I would like the gym, and we already have a space for it. Look at that ultimate protein power. Outstanding. Let's go visit the gym. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Yes. Iron Chad. Sup, small one. Looking to get swole? Yes. I think what you mean is more swole. Oh, hey. We know these menus. Sweat to the oldies. Okay. Put a point in there. Oh, we've got 7,700, don't we? Wow, okay, what does this do? All right, so I'm assuming this is... Not sure what these are, but I know I like Magnesis. And I'm assuming this is damage. And this is probably some kind of luck system, I'm assuming. Uh, speed, right? So that's looking good. That's a good start. I don't want to spend it all. Hey, folks! This is a game called Cast Out Colony. This is going to be coming out into early access on April 8th. Will you be wishlisting it? Will you be keeping it on your radar screen? Maybe you're going to want to grab it right away when it comes out. You know, we got to support these indie devs. So uh, a wish list goes a really long way in helping their game show up in the infinite hallways of the Steams. 
you know how infinite they are. It is a it is a deluge of wonderful games. But let's help uh, let's help these folks out if you like what you saw. Uh, and hey, it's a rated G, right? To help towards that 200 giveaway goal, uh, we're gonna do a few copies. So be subscribed, leave a comment. And I will pick a few of you across all the videos we do on Cast Out Cal. We're probably going to play some Cast Out Colony a little bit here. See what else uh, we can get up to with these these bugs, right? Old, old Tato Tato, right? Okay, you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or a roguelite, and we'll give away a video game at least once a week because of your support. We can do it because of you. Thanks so much. Take care out there. Goodbye.